everybody, and welcome to a YDA video. I, I know I just did a stream on this, and you probably want some Booga Booga content if you're my regular viewers. If not, welcome to the channel. I hope you have a good time watching this video. But if you are one of my regular viewers, I will make more Booga Booga content soon. I'm just feeling a bit burnt out on that, and I've been really enjoying YDA, so I want to make some videos on it. Anyway, as you can probably see, YBA has updated, and I have to say this is one of the cleanest updates I think they've done. So let's talk about, let's let's take a look at the update log, shall we? So the first thing, the first like main thing obviously that's clearly noticeable is the map is completely changed. It's snowy and it's pretty and it's very Christmassy. Uh, very good change, nothing crazy, nothing game changing, nothing actually changing the gameplay at all, but it is very fun and cozy and really pretty. Uh, I honestly prefer this over the regular map. Um. So next, they have added Christmas presents, which when you open them, you have a chance to get a cosmetic or a skin for a stand. I'm not sure how that works. Like, you know, a shiny. Um, and there's a 0.5% chance when an item spawns, it'll be a present. Or if you win 1v1s or MBR, you have a chance to get a present. Um, this is really good compared to the Halloween event. Instead of just running around collecting items, pretty much relying on item notifier, anyone can play just MBR with their friends, have a good time playing the modes that are already really fun and really enjoyable, and have a chance to get the new items. And it's a good chance. Competitive MBR first place is 20%, and these are incredibly high-quality cosmetics and items that people are going to want. So I, it's really a good event. This is how they should be doing skin events and shiny events. Well, I say skin, I mean, I just mean shiny. Um, much better than the other uh, uh, event which that I have played. I don't know if I've done more, which was the Halloween event where you just had to run around and pick up candy and it was super rare and unfun. Um, had good skins, but it was just not like fun to grind for them. And this, the best way to get them is to just play the modes that are already there and fun. So, another thing, I do think that the 1v1's chance, though, should be bumped up, as 1v1's do take a very long time to play. Um, another thing is they have enabled two times item spawns, which means it is four times on weekends. Honestly, this just feels like what it should be in the first place for public servers. I think for private servers, the current item spawn rates, well, not the 4x, but the, the normal... The normal ones are fine because, you know, you're, there's only one person there hunting items. But in public servers, it's really difficult to farm items because there's so much competition for it. And, oh, hey, a diamond. There's so much competition for it. And uh, it's very difficult to collect items. So the 4x on weekends is really OP in private servers. But it really just feels right in public. So I hope they make a change of some kind so that... Uh, Public servers have more item spawns. Another thing, they have enabled double shiny chances. So when you get a stand, you have twice the chance as normal of getting a shiny. And this works with the Robux shop too, which this just feels right. I think this is what they should have been doing in the first place with this game. Because 1 in 100 for a shiny skin with very low pity ramping. I know they're meant to be rare but it was just not fun to har farm for them. And, the be and it was really hard to do without Robux to farm for uh, shinies. Now, I, I, I have a few shinies myself. Uh, I've been trading around getting some shinies. I had three before the update. I still have three. I just switched one of mine for another. Um, but let's talk about the biggest major feature of this update, which is trading. If you're in a server with another player, you can type in their name, and if they also type in your name in the settings menu, it'll open a trade menu where you can trade items, stands, and cosmetics safely with no scamming, and trading stands is so good for the like economy of this game, if that makes sense. It's incredibly fun to just collect stands and increase your trading value and that kind of good stuff. So... Another very uh, interesting thing about this update, besides, you know, all of the, uh, I, I'm forgetting how to speak, besides all of the really good changes 
they have added two new codes, which are actually extremely good. So the first one is OMG 700K likes, like that, and you can put it in the code menu in the settings right here. I've already redeemed it. So that code gives you, it gives you, I believe it's a bunch of redeemed rokas and arrows. Hold up, let me look up redeemed. Yeah, so it gives you a bunch of redeemed rokas and arrows, five of each, um, which I highly recommend you use just because that's so good. And if you want to be shiny farming now while the event is up, the event will end on January the 3rd, by the way. So rip ends before my birthday. Rip. Anyway, there are also some new cosmetics for those of you that are into cosmetic collecting. I personally am not and only collect them for trading, but that's really cool for the people that like the cosmetics. Um, they also, this has made a huge impact in trading. It now tells you the name of your shiny and, you know, the original stand. Um, that's super cool. Another thing. Oh yeah, there is actually another code. Um, if you type in I-L-Y or I love you because his YouTube channel hit 250,000 subscribers, you will get a redeemed pure Roka, a redeemed rib cage, a redeemed, I think it was a heart or a left arm. Let's look. Heart. Nope, it was a left arm. Uh, I have like a billion of them, so it's hard for me to tell. But you will get a redeemed left arm, a redeemed rib cage, a redeemed requiem arrow, which is really cool looking. Um, and a redeemed pure Roka. So those are extremely good items. And he set his next milestone for new codes to 800,000 likes on the Roblox YBA game page, which it'll probably hit fast because of the huge player count after the Christmas update, 80,000. And 300,000 subscribers on Uzu's channel, who is the dev. Um, if I go ahead and take a look right now at the YouTube channel, how many subscribers does he have? He is already at 263k subscribers. So, this update will probably... So the next update is probably already going to have another one. We'll see how long it takes. It's probably going to be a long time because this is a huge update. But yeah, very good update. Uh, overall, I would say this is the best update I've seen on this game in a while. Because it doesn't just add more skins, which I am tired of. And the new skins it does add are way more fun to get than just roking and arrowing and hoping you get a new one. No, it is genuinely interesting skins that you can only get for a limited time, meaning they'll be very fun for trading. And this whole update, the biggest thing, of course, is the trading, which has just made this game so different now that you can't get scammed when you're trading items and you can actually trade shinies. I mean, I traded a Magalyn, uh Violet Fog for a Mr. President shiny because uh, Mr. President's my favorite stand. I know that's a really bad deal on my part, but Mr. President's my favorite stand and I've been looking for the shiny of it for a while. Um, but yeah, this update is really cool. Very, very fun. Uh, Definitely better than the Halloween event because you can get the items by just like, you know, running around, which is good if you're more of a solo or if you're not prestige three yet, if you do have item notifier or you're just lucky, you can just find the presents hanging about. You don't have to play hard modes for them. We'll go ahead and I'll play one 1v1. Uh all right, well, never mind. I remembered why I don't play 1v1s. But anyway, yeah, this is a really good update in comparison to the other ones. Uh. I probably will only be farming presents on MBR because I just do not enjoy 1v1s. It's far too competitive and, like, try-hardy. <laughs> People take it way too seriously, even though you don't get anything from it other than presents, maybe. And it's really not fun to me. It's too, it's too try-hardy. But, you know... Uh, I think it's very good that Uzu gave people that do really enjoy the 1v1s the option to get presents and the new stuff just by playing them. I think that's a lot better than what we had before where you just had to run around and hope candy would spawn and that no one got to it before you and that, well, you had to have item notifier and you needed a private server to actually efficiently farm and it was just not fun. It was just not a good way to do a Halloween event. All of the items were far too obnoxious to get. 
But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. If you all enjoyed, uh, like and subscribe if you want. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Have a good one. Bye.